This is a video to show you how my A Plus Fizzy 191 online course will work. Once you've already created an account, click the sign in button and log in with your account details. This will take you to the start page where you can see the courses that you have enrolled in. This page shows you how many hours you have spent on my online platform and also shows how much progress you have made through the course. You can also access the community where you can post questions for myself and other members of the online course to answer. It's also a way for you to get to know other people doing HealthSci. There will also be monthly live Q&A sessions with myself where you can ask me anything you like. Once you want to start on the course, you can click on the course and then on any part of the course outline to jump to that section. The course is divided into sections. The intro contains articles and videos explaining my tips for getting the most out of this course. When you get into the modules, I have set up this course so that you watch my video first or the hypotenuse, so we will rearrange it for C. So C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And then you attempt to solve the problems yourself. You can attempt as many times as you like and you can also go back to my video if you get stuck. I would suggest creating a cheat sheet as you go along and using it to answer the questions. In the videos, I explain the necessary concepts and maths in order to solve the problem, as well as how to use your calculator effectively. Substitute our values into the equation. Let's plug in our values. So d will be equal to 0 squared minus 17.321 squared divided by 2 times negative 10. Let's plug that into our calculator. Use the fraction button. 0 squared minus 17.321 squared, then arrow down or right to go to the denominator. Then enter 2 times negative 10. That should give you an answer of 15 meters. I focus mainly on how to solve the problem rather than the underlying theory. All my questions are based on previous exam questions, so once you finish my a online course, you should be able to answer almost any question that you may encounter in the paper. I look forward to seeing you in my online course.